day one of the pond dig, about an hour in. In the greenhouse, uh, good news to report. Okay, we've got the first flowers on our beans. Some other ones are certainly not far off flowering. Okay, so I'd expect about another month and we should be eating fresh beans. Over at the cucumber, I'm not sure if we can see it. We've got our first little cucumber, which is superb. And we've got a number of tomatoes now starting to come into flower. So they'll start to develop tomatoes very soon. That one's got its second truss on. Okay, so we're doing all right on the tomatoes. Okay, and the lettuce, well, they're ready to eat now, to be quite honest. All the ducks loving, getting the worms out. Okay, so the duck pond is already being used by the ducks. Gonna talk now a bit about composting and what's known as hot composting. This is where we try and get the compost as hot as we can so it breaks down as quick as possible. Here's some compost that I've had about two, three weeks. Okay, and as you can see, it's already broken down quite well. Certainly not ready, it needs a lot more yet, but the process has started. And over here, very interesting now, if you look, this is maybe going about a month. You see lots of white in it. And those are some little something, I don't know what it's called. I'll put it on this video later. And those are the first thing that starts a compost to break down. It looks quite dry. So what we'll do is we'll add some more grass to this, okay, and that'll start the hot composting process again. So I've dug down into the compost bin, and now what I'm going to do is level it, out, level it out to make the very first level, and then I'll put some grass on top of it. The bottom of my raised bed area is absolutely covered in weeds at the minute. So what I've been doing is pulling the weeds out, mostly grass, okay, and I'm going to add that as one of the first layers to the next bin. Now if you look, some of the grass that I've added has got grass seeds and in reality they're never a good idea to add to a compost bin but with the hot composting that I'm going to do that will kill all those seeds so that hopefully those seeds won't grow next year and when we put them back into the garden. Warning. The... Okay, some really exciting news. Uh, my other half, her indoors, Claire, she's just come back from Clibbury Mortimer, the local little town and on the roadside we see these little babies, and not babies. Okay, and they are obviously roadkill. Okay, and it's totally illegal to get roadkill. Okay, and if you don't like what I'm gonna be filming next, okay, just, just don't watch this bit. and we'll keep you updated the progress of what's going on up there. And cover the layer of grass up with some more compost. End of day two on the pond project. Unfortunately, things haven't gone quite so well today. Uh, we've had a problem with the liner, so we are running now a sort of a day behind. Nobody really to blame, certainly from the people who've been doing it. Uh, the wrong liner was delivered. Okay, but hopefully, good progress tomorrow. Okay, and I'll keep you updated for that. Day three, we're also today doing drains. So replacing the drain, does anybody want to see that video? Okay, well I'll hold the drains just there. Had a beautiful um, 
straight. <laughs> so don't get the silver off of yours. Don't that. I'll send it to you. Okay, you And day three of broody duck watch. Okay, she looks like she's doing well on there. Okay, I'm not sure how many eggs are underneath her, but there is a reasonable amount. I showed you these on a previous video. There are fertility um, seed heads. As you can see, the snake skin ones now have all come out their pods and are starting to dry it completely. The larger ones, obviously, they're still green in the pods. They'll take a bit longer yet. I also picked some uh, bluebell seed heads as well. So we'll uh, dry them out, get some seeds from those. We'll throw them probably around where the new duck pond is. So the pond's just about finished now. Many thanks to uh, Lee from Paul Blakemore Building Services for digging out the pond and everything else he's done. Okay, that's really appreciated. Just having a look at it now, it's possibly about six inches off full. Okay, so there she is. Just got to just cover that liner up a little bit more. And she's done, so really happy about that. The ducks are happy. Okay, everything looks absolutely superb. Okay, obviously no grass left because it'll be, it'll be totally and utterly landscaped around here. Okay, and believe it or not, no soil apart from one ton for a neighbour has been removed from here. It's all been recycled, so really pleased with that. How wonderful. Broody duck wise, uh, she's still on the nest. Okay, I'm not going to go in because I don't really want to disturb her. But hopefully we'll have some good news to let you know uh, in the, over the next coming weeks. And thanks for watching. Uh, please invite your friends to the Facebook site. And please, please go to YouTube and subscribe to our Gardening 365 channel. That's what we really need you to do today.